Hello, welcome to Bedlam Gaming, and today Judd and I will be showing you how to put this Sanwa stick into your Street Fighter Arcade 1-Up machine. Check the description below, we will have a link for where you can find this stick on Amazon. And when you get this stick, you're going to receive the, the stick itself, these, this set of wires, this ball top, which we will not be using because we also have some bat tops for these sticks that we also order on Amazon, and I'll also share that link below. I'll also share a link for this, which is the 8-way gate that we're going to be replacing on this stick. So, replacing the gate on here is pretty simple. Um, this is the gate that's on it originally. So the first thing we're going to want to do uh, is we're going to go ahead and take this gate off. So each of these little tabs, you just push those in. and pull up and you can pull that gate off and we will not need that uh, we won't need this anymore uh, you can save it if you'd like but you aren't going to need this we're also going to reorient this uh, and we're going to reorient this so that when it's on the machine it won't be in the way of the buttons the way it's laid out um, so we'll reorient this so that this here, where the uh, wires are going to plug into, uh, will be able to just face straight down. So that should be set now. And you just take your 8-way gate, and it snaps right in. It fits this, uh, also a Sonal product. Uh, and then this joystick is going to be ready to go. Okay, for this installation, um, we are going to need these tools, as far as I know. This is what we used last time. Uh, we have our all of our wire cutting equipment here. You need wire strippers, uh, wire cutters. I don't think uh, needle nose are going to be necessary, but we got them just in case. Um, we have some electrical tape because we're going to do, be doing wire splicing. And I have a drill here with uh, drill bits and, um, and other bits so we can actually make new holes in the board and drive in the new joystick in, more, in a more secure fashion. Okay, so we have our board here and um, as you can see um, we have it elevated slightly so it's sitting flat. I think it, we're using the um, the covering. It's flipped underside and it can just sort of set in it like a tray. We got a towel here to protect everything. Um, here's our action buttons and this is the player 2 joystick. This is the one we're going to be replacing. So the first thing we want to do is if you see all these uh, all these plugs, they're all uh, clasped together with a zip tie. Now, first thing we're going to want to do is to cut that zip tie loose because we're going to have to get to all these 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 wires. Um, you can use uh, wire snippers here if you're just be really careful. Um, there's other ways to cut zip ties. I mean, any way that gets it off is will work without damaging the wires, but. I usually just take my wire cutters and really cut the fat part of the, of the zip tie. Like I said, you just want to be very careful. These wires are very delicate. They're very small. So, I successfully cut the zip tie and they're all free. Just like that. Uh, second part, second step is we want to take this out. Just with a simple screw. There's four screws in here. And hang on to these screws because we will be using these a little bit later once we put it once we drill in the new joystick. To take out. Like I said, we'll we will be using these screws later to put the new uh put the new joystick in. So once the screw is out, this is actually held in place by some simple glue. 
Like I said, my little trusty paint scraper here, if you slide it under here, like I said, you do want to be careful. Okay, you slide it in like that, and you can just give it a twist, and it will pop right up. And we do want to remind you to make sure, before you flip this over, take your ball top off of the stick so that you can pull it out when you unscrew it. Yeah. <laughs> now, when you're putting in the new new uh, joystick, it's important to know that uh, it does help if you have two people, because you can have one line up the, the new joystick. But, as you can see, it just has simple adhesive here. If if you're doing this by yourself, what you could do is you could uh, maybe put some command adhesive right here or just any sort of adhesive to sort of line it up and glue it first, then you can screw it down. But um, this is this is pretty much part one because once, once we have this up, then it's going to be on to uh, splicing the wires. Okay, uh, part two, uh, <laughs> or step two I should say, like, once we have this out, this old joystick, what we're going to do is we're going to cut these wires because uh, we don't need this old joystick, but we do need the wires. So, um, with your wire cutters, uh, I like to trim fairly close to the, the actual joystick because the more, because we're going to use all this wires. I mean, like, the more wire you have to spare, the more you have for um, making mistakes and splicing. You can always go back and rewire some more. But I like to trim them. Uh, I'd rather have too much wire than too little, so I like to trim them fairly close to this joystick. So you just take your, your wire cutters. And these, like I said, these are very, very small wires. So they, they clip very easily. out. Now before we move on I do want to mention that how I found out how to do this uh, and install these sticks originally is I was asking on the official Arcade 1UP fan page on Facebook about sticks to replace in the Street Fighter machine and Raymond So responded to me with this image and this image showed me how to basically how we needed to wire everything up in the machine. Uh, we did not remove the extra ground wires we left them in and just taped them uh, but you can remove the ground wires you don't use if you decide to uh, but the picture he sent me was actually a picture that came from reddit and when I was also looking on uh, when I also googled how to replace the sticks and there was a thread on reddit called guide swapping included joysticks for Sanwa and I saw the response in the thread from judo gold from November 20th and he posted the same image and it was his image uh, and I believe and he said that that's how he set it up because he's the one who said you don't need all four ground wires you just need the one for the stick but I just wanted to, to make sure I mentioned those sources for how we uh, knew how to wire this and I'll link those sources in the description below as well uh, I do want to give them credit for that as you can see we have our board here um... Like I said, you don't have to do this with two people if you don't have two people. Um, you can always use some sort of adhesive and then make your drill marks sooner. But we have two people here, so we're going to go ahead and utilize both people. Alright, so just to make it easier, um, I'm going to use a small drill, drill bit, very small, to actually uh, mark the holes for the screw to go into. I would recommend using a standard drill. Um, this is a hammer drill, but I'm not using it in a hammer road. Um, wouldn't necessarily use a impact driver because you don't want to put the screw clean through this thing. And you just want to, when you're when you're drilling it, you don't want to obviously you don't want to go through the board. You just you want to mark just a little bit for that this tiny screw to grab onto. So what Ryan's going to do is he's going to hold um, this joystick exactly where he wants it. In the center. In That's the where center. you're going to want to try to hold this joystick That's in where, the center. Yeah, very center. So once he lines it up, I'm going to usually, I think I like on the last one, I think I went into the center hole. Now we only put two screws in the last one, which is, it seems to be very secure. You can put more in if you want. You can put all four back in, but the, the center hole for this particular joystick seems to work the best. So whenever he gets that lined up, I'm just going to take, uh, take this and just kind of Pop a little divot in it. Are we ready? Yeah. All right.
Okay, like I said, that's all you want to do for the uh, for the actual mark, the scoring mark. And then you'll take your uh, actual driver bit, and you'll take your screw. Okay, there we go. Now, um, obviously this is going to be a little tricky because uh, it's, it's very tricky. Like you don't want to over tighten, over tighten your uh, bolt because you don't want to. You want it to be tight, but you don't want it to be so tight it cracks the board. Obviously, now. You're not going to be able to see too much right here because there's a whole lot of wires. But like I said, I'm going in the basically the same, basically the same hole on this side. Okay. Like I said, you don't want you don't want to overdo it. You use your driver and you pop the other one in. Okay. Okay. Like I said, you, you don't want to over tighten these things because this is particle board and you, you want to be careful. So like I said, I wouldn't recommend an impact driver because uh, not unless you have a very, very steady hand, which some people might, but um, I would just go with a standard drill. You don't really need one that's powerful, but uh, any standard household drill, would, you know, electric drill would work. But uh, like I said, we have two screws left. If you want to use those, you always can just to add some more uh, stability. But realistically speaking, uh, since we made brand new holes, these things are pretty solid. So that, that's, how you, that's how you remount the new one. Okay. So, we have everything mounted. Um, hopefully you can see. So the, the, um, it's got a bunch of uh, electronic plugs here. Um, I'm going to tilt it up so I can probably show you a little bit ones we're working with. So we're going to be working with these last two, like the one right here and the one right here. There and right there. I realize there's a lot of jarble mess. I'm about to unplug these just so we can have a, a better shot, uh, or uh, so I can show you a little bit better um, what how the the wiring is going to be. Um, so this another step is to remove these plugs, and they 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 can be a little bit tricky. Um, uh, you got to be kind of delicate when you're pulling them out. So you take one, and you have boom. There's one, you have two, two reds and two greens, and that corresponds with the down and the up, okay? And your second one's gonna be your left and right plug, and we'll find out very quickly. Well, I just mean, as far as when you're putting your joystick in here, mm -hmm. you have to make sure the wires point down, or point this direction. If you have this flipped the other way, these directions are not gonna be the same color. <laughs> Front, down, left, and right. Okay, so up, down, left, and right. Okay, so like I said, we have our two plugs right here. Oh, sorry. Um, so basically, this controls uh, up and down. This controls left and right. Now, you'll notice there's two there's two colors per plug, or and and two cords per color. So you have two blacks, two yellows, uh, two greens, and two reds. Now. One of these is a um, is the actual input for the direction, and one is a ground. So we're only going to be using one ground wire for all of this. And I'll I'll post a link to the or I won't post the link. I'll post a little diagram to the wiring instructions. And what we found out is, so the 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 plugs they plug in kind of like this, and basically going. F the plug close the wire closest to the joystick which is this it will it alternates it goes ground wire direction ground wire direction so we're going to be capping some of these ground wires and um we'll splice together the other uh wires so uh first things first you're going to take your wire strippers and where's that other plug crap right here let me get this out of the way uh, the joysticks wires, um, I don't know if you see it right here, but you, you, they, they did come pre-stripped, um, pre which, to be honest with you, you're probably going to need to take a little bit more of the sheath off just so you can get a good connection. What I did with this side is um, I basically took the wires and I had them stripped and I, I kind of hooked them together like that and I, I taped them. 
So, um, we might be working with a little speed up here, but I'll, I'll, uh, I'll strip all these wires down. Um, I, these wire trimmers, I had to go to the very smallest setting for these, uh, the strippers. And um, it did work, but like I said, this, this wire is so delicate, you really have to kind of be, be careful with it. Um, but yeah, so just strip all your wires. Actually, technically you don't have to strip the ground wire. So, like I said, um, we use one of the red wires for the ground wire. So all of these, uh, two of these, two of the black and and yellow ones are going to get capped. So if my diagram's correct, judging from the way this wire, this plug plugs in, this first yellow wire, we're going to just roll this up and and tape it. Okay, so that's what it looks like when we tape it up. Like we'll tape, like I said, we all we'll tape up the ground wires for this one. Um, so the first wire closest to the joystick, like this, that's going to be ground. This will be the the direction, and this next one's going to be a ground, and this next one's going to be a direction. So we'll go ahead and tape up this black wire too. Okay, so we got that taped up just right, and I'll just trim these back with my wire cutters. Probably can't see it from here, but I did strip the end of those. Let me go ahead and extend uh, the uh, exposed wire on the, the wiring to the that comes off of the joystick, because we're going to need a little bit more to play around with. Okay, I got all these, uh, these wires trimmed up. Let's start the splicing. Yeah. All right, so... Black and yellow wires are right and left wires. So, the orange wire from your joystick is spliced to the black wire. Like I said, uh, I like to take the wires and just kind of fold them over like that. Now, I'm not sure if you can see it. But, we're going to wrap that in electrical tape. And we are going to do that with every, every single splice. Step it down like that, and boom, you got a splice. So black to uh, black to yellow or orange. I'm sorry, black to orange and yellow. The yellow wire you're going to be splicing to the red wire, which is the left. We have your red wire coming from your um, joystick, and that's going to go to the yellow wire. That's going to go plugging into your circuit board. You press it down, nice. Okay, now for the left and right buttons, that that connection is now uh, spliced together. That's what you want. Now we're going to move on to the other wires, which we have three more. We have uh, up, down, and the ground wire. Both of the red wires are going to be used. One will be the ground and one will be the uh, directional uh, switch. One of these green wires is going to be um, capped. Okay, yeah, I just made a, a, a discovery. So on this, this joystick, you have the blue wires. Blue and red are on the same circuit. On this one, it's uh, green and red. So we are going to cap the second green wire. We'll cap this one right there, the one, the green wire in the middle. Like I said, I will be putting diagrams, hopefully, on the on the screen just so you can it'll give you a nice frame of reference when you're doing it as to what wires go where um, it's really once you once you realize the orientation it's it's really not that bad so the red wire closest to the joystick which is going to be this one that one is going to go to your black wire from the joystick because this joystick's uh, black wire right here that is the ground wire so you're going to take your red ground wire and you're going to match it up with uh, with the uh, ground wire for the joystick. Okay, so your second red wire, your actual directional wire, is going to go to the yellow wire from the joystick. Okay, just like that. Ta-da! Okay, now finally, the only wire you have left is your green wire from your the green wire from your joystick and ironically enough it goes to the last wire on this which is the green wire to the plug it would be blue on the other one just so you know okay so once you have your splicing uh, done uh, all that's really left is for you to plug in uh, the plugs back where they where they were red and green right here 
that's going to be our down and up. Yeah, down and up. So your down and up is the very last plug on the circuit board right here. Very last plug. And it's, it's all labeled, just, just so you know. Just in case you're afraid of plugging it in the wrong wrong one. It should click, click in, just like anything. Uh, so the other one, obviously, is your left and right, and that plugs in to the one you took it out of, the very next one. And like I said, it should just click in right nice. Okay, so that's really it for the splicing. Um, there's a lot of wires, so you just have to keep in mind to be mindful of that when you put the thing back in. So, before you put the protective casing back on top of this and put it in your machine, you want to test this first to make sure it's working properly. So don't put that protective cover on yet, but we are going to put this in the machine, so be very careful uh, putting it in the machine just so you don't um, damage any wires. Alright, so we have our board. So you're just going to plug it into your ribbon wire. Uh, if you already have the machine, you've already done this, I'm sure, before you decide to make this step. So now that's plugged in, we're going to try to carefully put this on and just not get any wires caught in anything. <laughs> you're also not going to want to screw this down yet. You're just testing this. So if something's messed up, you're going to have to take this off again. Up and down still work. Alright. It's looking like our directions on player one still work. So now for the real tests, player two. Right goes right, left goes left, up goes up, down goes down, it looks like. We have a winner? I think so. Yeah, it looks like everything is lined up correctly. And uh, button. We didn't mess with buttons. I kept the buttons. Test the, uh, test the left one again, make sure it's all the directions. Up, down. Which one was the problem on the other back. one? Left going one? back. Yeah, going and back. So one of the reasons we changed these joysticks out, in addition to just because these are far better joysticks than the ones that were in here to start with, um, is because my joystick stopped working on the left side as far as moving. On player one, you couldn't move backwards anymore. You couldn't move to the left at all. It just stopped working. Uh, I called them. They're sending a replacement for that stick, and that's great. Their customer service has been really good for fixing the problems that I've had with things. However, it was going to take up to six weeks, and I don't want to wait six weeks to play it. And so I decided to put that we'd put these in. That would be better. Um, Judd's been very helpful putting those in. <laughs> but um, I don't think it's that difficult, probably. I mean, you, you maybe take some trial and error. But you can... Yeah, it's really not. Like I said, I'll, I'll post uh, I'll post diagrams to what we did, just to give you a, a bit of a visual frame of reference. But really, when you're splicing them together, like I said, all I did was I, I kind of made hooks out of each wire, and I hooked them together, and I just electrical taped them.